on YouTube. It's your boy OGT Man, and today this was suggested by one of y'all, one of my friends. I ain't gonna lie, y'all shouldn't. I hate when this. Hold up, y'all. Give me one good minute. Go on and fix that. But anyways, this was requested by my friend. My biggest failures ever seen in my 600 pound life. I don't know why they recommended this to me. They know what I'm going to say. But I ain't going to say too much right now. Let's go ahead and get into the video. My 600 pound life has so far served as the only hope for people who were confined to their deathbeds due to their extreme weight gain. And we've seen some amazingly successful journeys so far. Though the format involves assistance in achieving a healthy weight, still, some weight loss journeys are full of negligence and reluctance. In today's video, we will look at some of the biggest failures in my 600 pound life. Let's roll. <coughs> my bad. Lacey yeah. Buckingham. I wake up every morning feeling intense pain, having crackling in my bones. The woman. You just start crackling in your bones. Well, we know why now. We know why now. And I'm not trying to make fun of you, but we know now. We know now. We know now. Considers food as a pleasure more than anything else is 36-year-old Lacey Buckingham from Kennewick, 36. Washington. There's no greater pleasure in this world than eating food. She was suffering from high blood pressure, diabetes, lung disorder, and many other health issues. Her past includes a father who had anger issues, a bad relationship with her mother, an accidental baby, and sexual abuse, which all made her closer to food. My greatest love in life is food. At her first visit, her weight was 593.2 pounds. Well, doctor now gave her a target of 1,200 calories containing high protein and low carbs. She was also asked to lose 50 pounds in two months. You think you can do that? Yes. I've got to, it's not a game anymore. In the fourth month, she had an online meeting with the doctor as she was not there to show up on her appointment. She gave lame excuses. Doctor now asked her to visit the clinic before shifting to Houston, or he will not keep her under observation. On the way to her second appointment, she got into a heated conversation with her sister-in-law and her fiance. First time I feel loved, as with a boy, really. And that's motivating me even more now to get healthy. She also called the police because he was abusing her and she ended her relationship there. I God, man. First you're taking the L in weight, now you're taking the L in your relationship. That's tough. You know what I'm saying? Not the not the downplay on somebody bound, but that's tough, nigga. That's tough. End of the episode, she visited the doctor. And this time, her weight was 581.9 pounds, which means her total weight loss was 12 pounds. Doctor Now that. was shocked to hear that she was facing domestic issues and needed stability, which was difficult as she was missing Ricky and was crying for him. All right, so if you need anything, give me a call. Yes. And let me know how things are going, okay? Dolly Martinez. The only thing powerful enough to distract me from darker thoughts is food. The girl who considers food as a distraction from her darker side is 25-year-old. Y'all know what I'm about to say. God damn. I'm sorry if y'all think this is wrong, but God damn. Martinez from Fort Worth, Texas. She is suffering from many diseases associated with obesity. You see her stomach on the screen? God, why? They, now they know they did wrong. Why would they put this angle? <laughs> this make her look bigger than. <laughs> hey, and for the people who finna say something in the comments, don't you dare fucking say nothing. I used to be fat, not this fat. But they know they did wrong. They, she need she need to go after the people who did that camera work. Cause look, done got that angle. Including lung disorder, lymphedema, and many other health issues. She is dependent on her best friend and her mother. 
After reaching Dr. Now's clinic, she knows that he is not going to sugarcoat anything. Her initial weight recorded was 593.2 pounds. She was given a target of losing 60 pounds in two months. Her past includes a series of disturbing episodes, including her parents' divorce, her father's death, who committed suicide because he couldn't bear the stress of losing his own father, her special ed issue in her school time, due to which she also faced bullying, her mom's lesbian lifestyle, an abusive relationship, and a custody case. At her second... I'll be stressed out too. You heard all that? I'll be crying, boo-hooing all day too. I'm not mad. But at the same time, you shouldn't let yourself go like that. Her weight reached 576.5 pounds. After six months, she again visited the doctor. This time, her weight was 566.2 pounds. And this time, doctor now suggested psychotherapy from Dr. Paradise, as she was having disturbing behavior and an abnormal relationship. Doctor now also highlighted that she was taking 5,000 calories per day. He also recommended her to come with her mother. Well, at the end of the episode, her weight was 552.8 pounds, which makes her total weight loss of 40 pounds. Doctor now asked her to follow her mother's guidance and to have a stable relationship with others. Disappointed because I can't believe I've gone through all of this and weight loss surgery is still far off. Entreon Shannon. Think of your worst pain and then stretch it out over day in it. I ain't gonna say nothing else. Yeah, every day. The man who wanted to have a family, but his wife asked him to lose weight, is Entreon Shannon from Plano, Texas. He suffered from congestive heart failure and many other diseases. I have congestive heart failure. I'm in advanced stages of diabetes. He depends on his wife named Musa. His past includes a single parent family, his grandfather's death due to a stroke, loss of his father, loss of job, and diagnosis of heart failure. He also had suicidal thoughts. Mm. The overeating habit came from his grandparents. At his first appointment, his weight was 702.4 pounds. Dr. Nauzeradan gave him a 1,200 calorie diet with some exercise routine. To get you started, I'm going to give you a 1,200 calorie diet that is high protein, low carb. After three months, he was able to reach 683.4 pounds. The doctor got furious and gave him another target to lose 80 pounds in two months. I got a feeling that you're really sure coding what you have done. And also advised him to take things seriously or he'll stay bedridden. On his third appointment, he further gained weight, reaching 689.3 pounds. Oh. I think you've really uh, done much of the diet, except maybe one or two days. So you're not taking this seriously. On being questioned, he pleaded the fifth. Well, that was a bad joke. And Dr. Now also asked him to be serious and recommended him to visit Dr. Paradise for psychotherapy. Well, the psychotherapist gave him homework. He took a cup of coffee and cinnamon roll to write about his grievances. At the end of the episode, his weight was 704.3 pounds. Man. He gained another 15 pounds. Well, he was still motivated to lose further weight. Well, I know I have a lot of soul searching to do, and I know that I need to change that if I want to live. Crystal Hall. I hate how I'm passing on. Now why you eating all them damn noodles? That don't make no sense. Shaking my damn head. How I eat to Josh. I can't live with my hands up. I thought that was only for her. I was gonna be like, no. A female cab driver who hated her physical appearance and was embarrassed of being pressured by her husband is 34-year-old Crystal Hall from Frankfurt, Ohio. She has been suffering from several diseases, which include diabetes, hypertension, polycystic ovarian syndrome, and many others. Her past includes molestation, bullying, the polycystic ovarian syndrome, and abusive relationship with her mom's boyfriend. This made food as her consoling partner. She also thought that she was gay. Later, she realized and broke up, after which she moved in with her narcotic sister. She got custody of her sister's son and also found Freeland. On her first appointment, her initial weight was 618.4 pounds. Mm. Doctor now recommended her to make her sleep hours only eight hours a day 
as sleeping more than that affected her weight. Mm. Doctor now insisted that she meet Dr. Paradise for mental health, on which she disagreed, saying that she has to go back as soon as possible. Well, they both agreed on a video call with Dr. Paradise. She was also given a target to lose 40 pounds in four weeks. On her second appointment, her weight was 591 pounds. So Dr. Now gave her another target to lose 80 pounds within two months. On the next appointment, she reached 526.8 pounds, but got approval for the surgery. In the end, she didn't show up for seven months, and her weight was back to 579.7 pounds. It was just hard feeling like I was going nowhere for so long. But things are back on track. Before we go on to the last complicated star on our list, we'd love to hear your thoughts on today's video, as well as if you have any favorite shows that you'd like to see on our channel. Kene Dolphus. I can use the wall, so I use the last bit of energy in me to move to the couch. The woman whose obesity was causing infertility issues is 41-year-old Kene Dolphus from Nacogdoches, Texas. She was dependent on her family, consisting of her husband, mother-in-law, sister-in-law, and her husband's nephews. She was suffering from many health issues, including lung disorder, polycystic ovarian syndrome, and cellulitis. She wanted to increase her family, but the only solution was to lose weight. I can't breathe. Take a breath, girl. I don't want to get on a scale. I don't want to know how much I weigh. Her past included the death of her mother that brought her close to food. Also, a tornado destroyed her house and also killed her sister-in-law's fiancé. God damn. These tragic stories suck up. Initially, her weight was 614.6 pounds. Mm -hmm. The doctor now gave her a 1,200-calorie diet containing low carbs and high proteins. He gave her a target to lose 75 pounds in two months. I want to do more and have more things in my life and be able to share that more with my family. At her second visit, her weight was 592.8 pounds. She argued with the doctor that it is unhealthy to lose 100 pounds in a month. Well, after a huge speech of my fault, she finally agreed to continue on a 1,200 calorie diet. On her third appointment, her weight reached 543.8 pounds. And this time, she was given a target to lose 30 pounds within a month. In the end, she was not recommended for the surgery because of increased white blood cells that indicated an infection. In the meantime, you need to focus on staying on the diet and losing it. Well, y'all, that's the end of the video. But yeah, stay healthy. Stay work, stay active, stay working out. That's what I'm going to do. People be over here talking about I'm starting to get fat. I was like, man. Don't start saying that. Don't start saying that. But anyways, y'all, it's your boy OGT Man signing out.